The last five years has been a transformational period for Atlas, particularly as we think about the markets we serve and the, and the customers within those markets. And that's really been catalyzed by the growth both in Express Traffic, uh, our largest customer, DHL Express, and of course what we've seen in the rise of, of e-commerce. And e-commerce favors air because, of course, the customer wants to move that uh, purchase uh, to their customers as quickly as possible. And so we've recently announced uh, a transaction with uh, Amazon where we're, we're going to provide them 20 aircraft and operate those aircraft for them as well. Uh, we're at about 37 aircraft for DHL. So between the two uh, customers, you know, in the next year or so, we'll be at about 56 to 60 aircraft uh, freighters uh, uh, operating for both of those customers. Uh, and what it's done is it's pivoted, it pivoted Atlas from the heavy freight market, which is still an important market segment for us, to where 70% of our fleet will be dedicated to serving express and e-commerce. And, and, and that's a high, those are the two highest growth segments in the, in the uh, international and domestic freight markets. So a good place for us to be in and a great market segment for us overall. So as we think about growth uh, in air freight and the express markets, it's truly global. Um, that said, the largest market, of course, is Asia in terms of freight origi origination. About 40% of all air freight, uh, regardless of heavy or, 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 or express, uh, occurs, occurs in Asia, and China being the single largest market. And when I say China, I mean both Hong Kong and, and, and People's Republic. And it's one of our largest markets as well. Uh, on any given month, we'll have somewhere between 320 and 380 uh, departures from Hong Kong and China, so a significant part of the market overall. And there we're serving both our ACMI customers and our own charter operations. And so we serve DHL, China, Hong Kong, and intra-Asia, uh, Trans-Pacific, key markets for them. Um, we've recently signed a, a new ACMI agreement with uh, Cathay Pacific, uh, which is an exciting opportunity for us. Yangtze River Express, subsidiary of Hainan Airways, and I think there are more growth opportunities with them as well. ASEANA Cargo, which is a uh, Korean airline, a new ACMI agreement with them, and a new agreement also with uh, Nippon Cargo, a Japanese uh, cargo carrier. So a lot of growth for us in Asia, and I think we're particularly well positioned uh, across all markets, uh, specifically China, Korea, Hong Kong, uh, and Japan. Um, beyond that, growth certainly is going to be with uh, the express and e-commerce market. And that's why we're so excited about the agreement that we were able to sign with Amazon. And so under the agreement, we're going to provide 20 aircraft for them, 20 767-300s. Today we have six deployed, and we'll deploy the balance between now and in, into 2018. And we'll operate those aircraft for, for Amazon as well uh, in their networks, their domestic networks, serving their, serving their prime customers. So an exciting opportunity and, and uh, transformational, I think, overall for our company. And uh, we look forward to doing a great job for all of our customers and, and seeing what growth opportunities lie beyond that. South America has been strong for us as the economies developed there, new non-traditional exports for them in terms of seafood, produce, and, uh, and, and flowers, horticulture. We're seeing similar growth rates, similar commodities in the east coast of Africa. So, so our network's truly global. Last year we, we served uh, 120 countries, 420 airports. And I think there are, whether it's customer specific, uh, market segment specific, uh, or geographic, um, I think we're on a good growth trajectory at Atlas.